what a Metcon was. You guys might hear the term thrown out there a lot, might not actually know the meaning or what it is or how to set them up. I'm gonna be going over all of that today. All right guys, next one is gonna be barbell back rack reverse lunges. This is 175 right here for my third set. If I could get 185 for two sets, and I'm pumped guys, but we'll see how 175 goes, come on.
wide on that one? 195, baby! Woo! guys so you guys have basically seen our strength portion of the workout so now i wanted to kind of go over what a metcon was you guys might hear the term thrown out there a lot maybe in your you know hit class maybe your just crossfit class whatever it is you might not actually know the meaning or what it is or how to set them up i'm going to be going over all of that today basically metcon is short for metabolic conditioning it's basically a higher intensity style workout for a longer period of time now time domains can vary you can have shorter metcons you can have longer metcons you can have you know maybe lower intensity metcons you can have higher intensity metcons Metcons, it all depends on how much you move and the intensity that you push yourself at, but Metcons specifically are designed to make you work more throughout a span of time and use up a lot more energy. So that's what a Metcon is, and basically this is probably what's gonna make you fitter in the long run because you're pairing a few different styles of working out, modalities, whatever you wanna call it, together to get yourself like a baseline workout. Work through that a few rounds or for a specific amount of time. Typically the weights are a little bit lower on these because you want rest and volume and just higher intensity which means a lot more moving a lot more breathing these are great for burning fat guys not gonna lie if you're trying to lean out if you're trying to get shredded or just look good you got a holiday coming up you just want to be looking good I highly recommend you do a few Metcons a week if not every day we pretty much do Metcons every day in my style of programming we start off with a warm-up then a strength piece and then a Metcon and then maybe some strict work at the end which you guys will see later but basically we're today we're gonna go ahead and pair a few different exercises together set a time domain or amount of rounds that we want to accomplish and then hit it so let's go ahead and get into the workout all right guys so as i was saying you guys can either do for rounds or you guys can do a specific time domain let's say you want to do three movements you have push-ups you have sit-ups and then you have box jumps let's say you want to complete five rounds as fast as you can under let's say like 15 minutes max so basically you want to complete all three exercises all the reps all five rounds as fast as you can little to no breaks literally just stay moving other times you might have that same workout but you're going to be going for the whole 10 to 15 minutes now let's say you have 12 minutes the AMRAP as many reps as possible you're gonna be doing that scheme of reps and exercises for the whole duration amount of the time and then at the end you're gonna see how many rounds and reps you can get but today we're gonna to keep it nice and simple we're gonna do a 15 minute AMRAP and that's basically gonna be we're gonna do a 15 cal bike so 15 cal bike that's the buy-in and then we're gonna go ahead and do 10 box jumps so 10 box jumps box J jumps and then we're gonna do eight dumbbell squat cleans so so it's three exercises total. It's gonna get you breathing on the bike. The box jumps are just gonna tire your feet out. And then the eight dumbbell squat cleans are just gonna kind of burn you out. So basically it's a mixture of breathing, taxing your legs. So these are gonna be with a dumbbell. That's just gonna be the regular box. And then the 15 cal bike. Nice and simple. It's gonna be a total of 15 minutes. See however many rounds we can get. There's gonna be no breaks. The only breaks you're gonna get are like in between. So you have to take like a little maybe five to 10 second break and then hit it. Or you know, like whatever exercise you're on, just kind of pace yourself. This is gonna keep that intensity up. We're gonna be moving the whole 15 minutes. I guarantee you at the end of these 15 minutes, your butt is gonna be kicked. Again, this is just a quick little example. You might even want only have two exercises. You might have four exercises, etc. But on this style of workout, what we're doing right now is going to be see how many rounds we can get in those 15 minutes, guys. So that's going to go ahead and be the workout. I'm going to go ahead and get into it. It's going to be spicy. It's going to be gnarly. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me suffering. <music>
All right guys, so on that one, just to be kind of specific, I'm using a 24 inch box. Ladies, I would say stick to that too. If you can't do the box jump on that, just do box step ups. That's what my sister did. That'll work just fine. Just alternate one, switch legs, two, vice versa. And yeah guys, that's, oh, that was brutal. That was pretty spicy guys, not gonna lie. Just stay moving, pace it well. I mean, just remember to breathe. Honestly, as long as you can breathe, you should be able to go through this pretty well. It's still gonna be hard. Your lungs are gonna be on fire, but it's gonna be doable guys, I promise you that. And you're gonna be left with a huge puddle of sweat guys. Like I'm drenched in sweat. I'm pretty freaking sweaty guys. I sweat a lot, but still this work, I'll just get anyone drenched in sweat. Again, this is why they're so good for leading out and just like getting shredded. These are like a mix of that lifting and the cardio piece together. So if you're on a time crunch, I love doing these. Throw these in guys. I need to take a little break. basically start off with a bike i have a biker again and an assault bike i'm doing it with my sister um but basically what we'll do in that case is just switch off so we'll basically go one full round on one bike through the whole thing and then jump on the other bike do one full round and vice versa so that's what we did and basically we ended up getting five rounds plus one round on of the calories on the bikes so pretty much you guys can get five rounds during this workout that's kind of what i was doing we paced it pretty well we still were pushing ourselves we weren't like crazy dying but it was still really hard honestly guys the hardest part of that was the dumbbell squat cleans and we ended up switching it up to just single alternating so one two and that was probably the hardest part of this guys just because it was like a mix of like the box jumps and the bike just breathing and like muscle fatigue combined even though this is like a fairly easy movement it was still pretty hard i went 50 pounds guys use a weight that kind of pushes yourself 50 pounds should be good for the guys ladies if you guys can do like 25 to 35 pounds maybe 30 that'll be perfect but yeah guys that was a brutal workout again that's kind of like my little mini explanation of what a metcon is you guys can basically do whatever exercise you guys want to pair together in different time domains if you guys want to see more workouts like this again throw it in the comments or honestly go over to instagram and just shoot me a dm i'd love to drop like a quick little workout for you guys stay tuned for an ebook coming with like at least 30 workouts in that thing so pretty excited to release that to you guys but you guys got to hit that like button hit that subscribe button guys anyways that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video if you guys like what you see please come back next week two videos every week guys you guys don't want to miss out as always breakfast club ctg we out this beach